Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Sorry about the wait, but the teams are in. My name is, of course, Neva, and sitting beside me is the one, the only, Mr. Vector. We're here to bring you the match between Save Boys and Easy Team. And uh, if Karath has told me anything, he's going to annihilate Save Boys. So Karath, of course, one of our co-casters, he's given it. We practically give, give him crap the whole time. That's what's going to be. Yeah, pretty much. That's what we're, we're just going to sit here and give him crap the whole time if his team loses. Yeah, and he basically, well, he basically he was talking it up. So he's talked the big game, and now he's got his chance to prove it on stream. We are going to be taking it to Cash. That's where we're going to do. Save Boys are actually our reigning champions as we go into the game. Um, so basically, we've just finished the uh, knife round. The boys. We'll be going live very shortly, and uh, when they go live, we'll get this one underway. So, uh, look, as we said, safe boys, reigning champions. There's a lot to play for. Easy team are the eighth, the th they're not the throwaway, they're the... Um, they're collaboration the, 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 team. Yeah, yeah, let's call it the collaboration team. The yeah, mixture. The, yeah, the mix. They're like, they're like a cocktail. We'll take a little bit of everything, we'll chuck it all in there and see what we get. Sometimes you get... Uh, a great team. Sometimes, great sometimes, you, yeah, sometimes you get a mojito, sometimes you get a Long Island iced tea. Deadly, and you'll regret it in the morning. We'll see how that goes. So the boys, currently just getting sorted out. Now, we will go through the team list for you one more time. Uh, for the boys for easy team, we have Hat, Seer, Sprinter, Vibes, and Karath. And uh, for save boys, we've got Urka, Stradoodle, Straxi, Steej, Nick, and Reloaded. Now, if I have any kind of high hopes, Vector, it's that uh, Straxi... To go large. He is a very good player. A very good rifle, I should say. He's very strong. Um, and as you said, you had you had some ideas of what you were looking for in this group. As we did say, three of these teams have made the semi-finals before. Yeah, well, it's something... They've all got something to play for. They've all shown that they are pretty good teams so far to make it through to the finals. So they always have something in the bag. As you said, uh, Strax is a very good rifler. Yep. Something that I want to look for here, because rifles play such a key role on this map with all the long lines of, of sight. You've just got to go with the rifles. The M4s, AKs, and AWPs. And maybe even Auto Sniper if you want to go that far. Yep. So it's always on the lookout there. So looking, especially on the CT side, looking with the AWP maybe from truck to look into A main and then a rifle to squeak in and then just looking into B main. You've got to watch those two and then mid control is always something you got to look out for. Yeah, but we are live here in round number one of Group B. And uh, i tell you what, though, I've got to give it to... Like, you know, we haven't had too many issues, and I'm really enjoying the action that we're seeing here. And now, as we say, Cash, Cash, as you've said, Cash is very up close and personal. Uh, there are very a lot of lines that need to be hold. And uh, as we did say last time, mid-control is very important. Anyway, reloaded. We'll get the first kill. Vibes and Hats are also going to grab the uh, next couple of kills and they're going to be pushing in hard over onto the b-bomb site vibes from heaven will grab one hats with the double and they are going to be sorting out we're going to actually just put the game sounds back up for you how about that we should do that you know yeah that sounds a bit better just a little bit better, but just that was a little a bit better. A little round there from uh, Easy Team. They only lost one. That was to a nade at the start of B main. So just having that mid control and then pushing around to rotate, they were able to uh, combine their forces together and take that pistol round. Yeah, that's very true. So Easy Team actually getting the first, uh, getting the first kill, and uh, Karath actually starting the smack talk early, saying "Safe boys, more like Easy boys." Ha ha. So we'll see how that one turns out for the boys from Save Boys. They've got a lot of pressure on their shoulders. I guess they will be feeling the pressure to actually perform very well here as Save Boys now pushing out once again into the middle of the map. Sprinter grabbing one. Vibes will grab the second. Seer also joins the party before finally the trade happens. Reloaded and Urka go one and one. And there's the fourth. And uh, there's only one man remaining. It is this man right now, is Urko, and he is stuck right underneath vents. Oh, good shot with the P250. He's got two to beat. He's grabbed He's grabbed one, looking for the double. Strafes out. Oh, he gets the bink. Looking for one more. That's Karath. Can he do it? Get wrecked, son, he says. And it's a 1v1. Hats v Urka. That bomb is with him. And uh, Hats is over at the B bomb site, and that bomb is going to rotate to the A bomb site vector. And uh, very well done. Save boys, looking a bit more in control here. Yeah, well, right there, Urka did exactly when he needed to. He uh, killed the first man on highway. That was the key man. And then killed Karas, sitting underneath on sandbags here. Now making it a 1v1, taking the bomb up to A. Knew the player is on beat. Now sitting quad. This is a close 1v1. 12 HP, though, taking up an MP7. Yep, the 3v1 clutch. Won't be able to get it because Hats with the MP7. A little bit too strong there towards the end. He did get the bomb down. So that is the extra money. And did they did get all four players down. So they at least will have to rebuy come next couple of rounds. So that's really good to see from the boys there. But uh, look, we can't really... 
I can't really judge them yet until I see them with full rifles in their hand, but we see the early AK buy here from Safe Boys. Yeah, well, five AKs coming out in the second round. That uh, bomb really helped get the, that money they need there. That extra 800 was really help out the team. You see Hatch just pushing through. But this is going to be the first key round for them. They've pushed it around early, so now they have the... It's not 3-0 down. They've got the advantage yep. to go back up to make it 2-1. Yep, but this is a bit of a risk, you could say, because if they do lose this one... They're back on eco. They're back on eco, and that can be a bit of a... Uh, they, look, that's the risk they're taking here. They, they decide they want the guns more at this point because they want to actually um, put in the pressure and they don't want to leave it. And so this is probably something that they won't be expecting. And there's the first kill. Urka grabbing one. Vibes, though, having a shot down through connector into Squeaky. He has to be very careful about... Uh, the next couple of uh, seconds here as the Terrace will start to push out hats from on top of balcony. Finds one. That's Straxy. And uh, Reloaded will also be taken down by Seer. Seer with the double sitting back behind Quad Box. There's three. Looking for the fourth. Won't be able to get it because Vibes comes out. But that is such a good hold from the boys from Easy Team. And uh, wow, that's just very good holding. And unfortunately, that did not that uh, didn't pay off. They have forced into the ego. Yeah, we talked about that. They're now back on the eco there. They needed to push out as a team and weren't able to. It was uh, Sears, who was, or Sears, who was sitting in quad, able to get the famous shots. He got three frags straight away. Yeah. And that's what set up that round for them. They were able to hold that A site quickly. Yep, and, yep, and that, is, that, is, that is exactly right. And here they go, pushing very hard once again. But it's a two for two trade. And the Terrace trying to get out on site. And but Hats from mid connector finds one. Two, and there's only one man remaining. It is Straxy once again. Stradoodle with the bronze sword out at the moment. And uh, look, that went from a 3v3 to a 3v1 very, very quickly. I've got to say, though, even though Easy Team is a thrown-together team, all of the guys, at least a lot of them, are very high-level players. Vibes, I know, plays in Div 1 in the OCE region. So uh, Karath is also... Even though we give him crap, he's nothing to sneer at, I've got to say. So the boys are not going to go down just as easy as some may think for a uh, put-together team. But Save Boys do have the experience, so you just got to put it together. But right now, Easy Team making it look easy, grabbing the first four rounds. Yeah, well, Save Boys got those first two frags there. As you said, two for two yeah. trade. They should have capitalized on that and pushed yeah. on the site together. It was Hats who kept them off at, at the uh, forklift there. Just making sure they couldn't push on the site. They were low HP, no armor, and now we've got a buy coming out again. So this is another round, another chance for Save Boys to push back on. Yep, and like you said, they uh, look, Hats was just too good through Connector. They just didn't check it, and he just caught them. He basically flanked two of them in the crossfire, and unfortunately for him, uh, for the boys from Save Boys, that just put their round right at a disadvantage. But Urka with the AWP does the uh, does the B main angle there. Picks up Karath and he will take no further part in this round. And uh, the boys from Save Boys once again looking at work in this mid area. And they go two for two trade here. Sprinter, Steej and Hat all pick up one with one minute and ten remaining. That's a good flash. Straxy though has to be very careful. He finds one. That's Hats pushing very, very aggressively into the warehouse area. One minute. That bomb now. They have finally decided that they want to push in towards the A bombs, the B bomb site area. They grab the first kill. Seer will respond and they finally get another up into heaven. It is a 2v1 sprinter. The last man remaining. Make that the make that the last dead man on the kill on the field. Urka grabs him there. He will also pick up the AWP for his trouble. Save boys finally get around on the board, uh, Vector. And uh, look, they at least now have proved to themselves they can actually beat Easy Team in a round. Yeah, well, that kill from uh, Strax there in mid warehouse was able to set it up that flash. Just pushed through, killed the guy with the flash, and then pushed onto the B site. 3v2, we're able to take it out completely. Yeah, we've got a bit of an A site stack coming from the CTs now. They are pushing very aggressively into the warehouse area. And uh, they are going to be playing very, uh, they're going to be putting the pressure on just to make sure that no one plays any sneaky buggers inside of the warehouse. Nick will grab the first two kills, however, for the round. Hats will finally drop him down with the CZ70. We're currently watching uh, Karath as he's under the vents, but the push still not decided on where they want to go. I think they're going to be pushing this B-bombs like once again. Karath, he does get one. He finds them underwears like the bananas in pajamas and will get the first kill, but that bomb site still belongs to the boys from Save Boys. They uh, and that's something that I realize I say all the time when I'm casting these guys. So the bomb is now ticking away. 35 seconds, Kev, and uh, look, easy team. They've shown good potential, but Save Boys now starting to find their groove. 
Yeah, well, we can see Printer now just saving that AK there. Picked it up with that first frag yep. in A main. Just going to try and save that in Squeak here. It looks like Hats is the only one pushed up here trying to get any exit frags here. He's going to spot somebody. Now, if he can get rid of that AWP, that will do some great economic damage. Unfortunately, not able to, but there was two. But that was a good try by him. He had the opportunity. He just did miss the first couple of CZ 75 shots. And unfortunately, when you miss those shots, it's uh, at that point, he didn't really have the armor to back himself up. So... That's what happens. Four rounds to two. We have a quick score check, though. Nine rounds. Hats is currently leading the way for the boys from Easy team and Save Boys. Uh, Urka with seven and one. So, uh, what are you, what are you liking so far? What have you seen so far that's uh, impressing you, Vector? Well, something I didn't expect was the teamwork that I'm seeing from Easy Team straight yeah. away. They're actually communicating. It seems like they're communicating, even though we can't hear it ourselves. They seem to be doing a great job. As we can see, Vibes get a double, but. They're just working well as a team, which is exactly what they need to do against yeah. a very experienced Safe Boys team. Well, Safe Boys, as we said, they are the reigning champs of the battle for Sydney. They did successfully take out round two, and they actually placed very well inside of the round number one. So they're looking for finals berth here, and uh, for them, really, there's going to be quite a there's going to be very close uh, couple of sides to be picked from in 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 the new in the next round. So with a minute and five seconds remaining. It's going to be very interesting to see uh, how these teams react. Easy team, obviously, the ringers. So it's their first game together. They are doing seem to do, be doing very well, but I'd be very interested to see how they go later in the day. If they can make it out of groups, that's a big question. But Save Boys, I did notice about this, this about them last time. They do take a while to get going, but once they do get going, they are very hard to stop. Yeah, they get on that roll and they don't stop here. But also, Safe Boys are on the T side, so they just need to get a few more rounds in here and it'll be a pretty close game since CT is very favoured towards Cash, as we've said before. Now making a 2v2. Vibes by himself on this A site. Does see one cross. Bomb is going to go down. Get the first. Money will be in the hands of Safe Boys here from that bomb going down. So it's now just up to Strax, who is sitting right on the site here. Smokes out, but... He's just got to make a play here with 2 HP, not much. As I say, that Karath does take him down. Whoops, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I accidentally pressed the Windows key rather than the actual control key to bring you up the map as Karath will grab the final, the defuse. He actually did see his feet through the smoke there, and that's actually what happened, why um, he got dropped down there. So, easy team. Um, like you said, it's probably easier for them to defend as, a thrown to, as the collaboration team, as we called them, than attack. So... If Save Boys can get about five to six rounds under their belt, I think it would be pretty be, close. Yeah, it would be very close because the individual skill of Easy Team at the moment is what's keeping them in this match. Or actually, keeping them again and putting them ahead in this match. But that kind of individual skill can be can can actually um, hurt you if you don't have a cohesion in your team come your offensive side, and that's what we need to wait and see. But there's still eight rounds of Counter Strike still to be played on this particular half. And Save Boys are going to have to be looking at trying to get as many rounds under their belt as they can. They need to make it as easy a job um, as they can. I'm sure they would feel very uh, very um, upset if they couldn't actually get a win here. Easy will grab the long range. Orp shot. Steege with some AK work. Great pull down spray from him. He picks up Sprinter and Vibes. Gives them a bit of an advantage here. And there's one man remaining. It is our friend, the noob, as I like to call him, Karath. And if he hears me say that, yes, you've got a 4v1 clutch to go, and I want to see it happen as that bomb is ticking away. 35 seconds. Do you reckon he can do it, Vector? Oh, it looks like he's just trying to save the M4 now. It looks like looking into the pipe here, maybe uh, thinking they might sneak up behind him. Turn yeah. into a bit of water, I don't know. Real men go for the clutch, Karath. What are you doing? He gets one. Looks for the oh, double. Gets the double. See, had you done that earlier, you could have possibly had the round. Looking oh. for four. Won't be able to get it, though, because Reloaded will take him down. Five rounds to three. Save boys. Getting uh, getting a good round under their belt, which they'd be very happy about. So, uh, once again, the boys uh, from Easy Team still in control here. Um, but, um, yeah, it's still... It's still they're, they're ahead. I wouldn't say by much. Say boys still well in this. Oh, yes. Well, Easy Team, they started off very strong. And as you said, CT side will favour them since they are very individualistic at the moment since they haven't worked together as a team yep. for very long, only today, as you see Hats dink down to 17 HP, they are on eco, ate that grenade. he ate the grenade and Sprinter does follow it up, so now 4v3, this is an eco for them, three kills for them and no bomb plant should be the best thing they can do. Yeah, uh, if they can, you yeah, know, well, if they can get any kills here, basically, any kills you get on an eco round, I just work fantastic for you, because it puts you in a position where you just feel like, 
I can do that with a pistol. Why not? I can do that with an AK, right? And then also, also denting the economy is something uh, that you really want to do. Nick will grab one. Uh, that was Karath on the rotate through warehouse. Reloaded will get the other one and the bomb plant. That was Seer. And uh, there's the bomb plant. No, he didn't actually get it down in time, but five rounds to four. The save boys are about to tie this one up. What do we see from the easy team? Are they going to eco? Yes, they're going to eco one more, Karath. So, um... You would expect Save Boys to take this particular one um, and probably even up with five rounds to go. Yeah, well, we can see Easy Team. They're looking still strong. They yep. still are in this game. And with these Ecos, just getting any kills are gold for them. As Ooh. Siege takes out Vibes with a brilliant little one-tap in mid. So Reload knows somebody is around that corner. It's going to Molotov him out and going to swamp on him now. Yep. So the last man is on highway, but still very much in this game. They just need to pull it together. And especially as we've said, the pistol round will be key for them yep. on this T side because they need to get a lead now. Yeah, they exactly. need to win maybe three or four more rounds on this side and then win the pistol round. They'll be up ahead of this well, one. Well, realistically, we say I'd like to say Cache is a pretty much it's it, there's not many maps of the T side anymore. They all tend to kind of favour the C T given the way the meta currently works at the moment. Um, the one of the rare exceptions is train. Train I believe is C, is T side now, depending on how be easy it is. Normally, nine rounds to six is a good scoreline for the offensive side. It tends to be harder given the amount of nade control you can exercise, especially in cache. Uh, but given that, if they save boys can get any more than six to seven rounds, they are looking pretty hats from behind sandbags. They will pick up Stradoodle, Mr. Strax. He will take no further part, and uh, they will continue this charge. And uh, Hats playing very aggressively with Vibes in the center area. Vibes will grab one before Hats picks up the double. Steege got the reply kill, however. And it's now a four for two. And three uh, with how long? One minute remaining on the clock. Urka, he's currently been very strong. Comes out into the A side. He doesn't know one's mine. Forklift, though, and that was Seer. He picks him down as he was throwing the nade. Reloaded, tried to get the AK spray. Puts the Molotov in the back of sight, trying to clear it out. They don't know where he is. They think he's on site. He's on top of forklift. Goes one. There's the double AK spray. And he's made it a 3v1 into a 1v1. And he has full HP. It is Karath versus Reloaded. Reloaded has got that bomb down. And now Karath is working against the clock. That bomb is going to tick away. He does have the orb. Tries to put a bit of pre-fire spammage. And will actually swap out for the M4. That is a very good... Very good swap out. Good flash on top, but reloaded is 2G and makes it five rounds to six. Save boys hit the front for the first time. Vector, they must be feeling good about themselves right now. Oh, yes. Karathi just was not able to pick off that last one. So close with that orb shot through the smoke there. Just a little bit to the right. Maybe would have helped if he could see through it. You never know, but... Jumping into this round, we've got we've got to see. E Save boys, first time they've been ahead. Yep. This is looking good for them on a T side, especially if this is a CT sided map. They just need to keep it going. As Nick gets that great oh. one tap through mid, they seem to always be able to pick mid, and that mid control is key for them right now. Yeah, they are controlling that mid area through the warehouse, and they are not giving Easy Team an inch. And look at that, it is now three down for nothing. Seer and Sprinter are the last two men remaining, and they have complete. Bomb site control. The boys from Save Boys are absolutely a loving life at the moment. Reloaded is watching for that rotor. He's going to come face to face with Sprinter and he will drop him down. Uh, that was Seer. He did actually get one before Stradoodle got him as well. But Save Boys now five rounds to seven with three rounds remaining in the half. And uh, look, they're one away from being ahead at halftime as a terrorist side. That just absolutely makes. Uh, your life a little bit easier. Now, some would argue that the, the pistol ki kind of uh, favours the uh, T's given that it's a lot harder to spam down a five-man rush if they go for the site. But there's a lot of work that can be done and uh, Save Boys certainly feel like they are in control of this match at the moment. Oh, yeah. So we can see that just mid-control is always going in the favour of Save Boys. It's something that Easy Team, they need to work on to stop this mid control. Vibes is still sitting there. The boost has dropped down. Steve just got another. Uh, Seer does follow it up and trade the kill, but Bomb has gone down A. It's now down to a retake, and Save Boys look to be in the prime position at the moment. Yeah, they do, and they're pushing this bomb site. They've got the bomb down, and uh, they are just now have to hold this retake. Straxy coming face-to-face -face with Vibes. We'll get the better of him. He missed. 
He missed like three or four orb shots. Had to pull out the Tech 9 eventually and gets it. It's now a two versus four. Make that one as Steege goes big and also reloaded will pick up Seer. Eight rounds to five. The question is, they will be ahead at half, but how much will it be? Are we going to see an 8-7, 9-6, or 10-5? Given the way that Save Boys are playing Vector, I've got to say, they've won, what is that, eight of the last nine rounds? If they keep this up, they're going to go 10-5, an easy team. Started off well, but as we said, Save Boys now getting... Getting the rounds under, Yeah, they're getting the rounds under their belt and uh, starting to show their strats now. Yeah, as we see, Vibes just pushes through the smoke, trade out, make it a 4v4. Looks like they're going to execute B this time, and this is uh, a little bit of a different push from them, so we'll have to see how easy team rotates quickly if they want to uh, get back and retake the site. Yeah, that's very, very true. And so the boys from easy team need to sort their stuff out, otherwise they're going to be... Um, finding themselves at the losing end of GG's sooner than they would have expected. And given the way they started, I wouldn't have expected um, this kind of scoreline at the moment. I thought Easy Team may be able to roll on, but we did say, save boys, if they get their strats on, they will be very hard. Reloaded from behind box in checkers. We'll spot up Sprinter and Stradoodle will come up, get the bomb plant as well for his trouble. And uh, there we have the last round of the first half. Save boys getting there. We'll have a quick score check update for you, Vector. And uh, look, as you can see, there's a lot of double digits around the place there, as you can see, with Hats, Vibes, and Seer. Double digits for Easy Team. Urko, Reloaded, Stradoodle, and Steege all there. So that means there's a lot of fragging going on all around the place. Look at that. Out of 14 rounds, two defuses, one explosion. Yeah, it's, it's only been that one explosion that's been the big key. As Nick gets a great AWP shot straight on, so he's going to spot another player yep. just near Forklift. This is a uh, key for them. They keep getting that first frag, and that's one thing that Save Boys have been very good at doing so far this night. Their first few rounds haven't done it, but since then, they've had complete control. You would say as well that they're as we are watching them pretty much demolish the boys from Easy Team at the moment, that the, um, I guess you could say frag control is currently one of the things that they're very good. No, not frag control, trading, I should say. They're very good at trading these kills at the moment. There's very rarely a time, except for those opening couple of rounds, since they boys got their stuff together as they take the half, 10 rounds to five, they are trading two for one now. They're on the. They're not giving up the easy frags. It kind of seems like easy team are doing that at the moment. That's currently hurting them a lot. Yeah. Well, right now this is going to be the pistol round now. Yep. It's a new new half, completely yep. new story. It can all change from here for easy team. They just need to get this pistol round like they did last time. They showed they were pretty strong with the pistol yep. round. So if they can push through and break and get the uh, get the bomb down, at least they might be able to buy by round three, which means that they won't lose too much even if they lose the pistol round. Yeah, that's very true. Now, given the fact that, as, sorry, as we get going here, what do Easy Team need to do as the offensive to um, to get back into this one? Now, Safe Boys, we know obviously they can hold, but what are some things you reckon that Easy Team should be doing to force Safe Boys here and uh, get this one back? Well, I think they should be playing for picks more than rushing a site because... Yep. Safe Boys probably have practiced set after set of where they're going to be coming from. So if they yep. can do exactly what Safe Boys did to them, which is pick mid, get the man down, and then they have complete vision of where they want to go, they'll be able to make the picks that they need. They'll be able to get the man advantage straight away and be able to trade. Even if the trades come in from there, it will make it a 2v1 towards the end. Yeah, okay. So that's it's some good advice. And probably should take it because given that round they just lost, they did the exact opposite of what you just said. Rush the site, put the bomb down. Now, they did get the money, which is very important to note because that means they will be able to buy up next round because they have not bought armor or nades this round. So they will be going for a round three buy up. I can guarantee you that. So given that, as Vibes gets the deeg shot there and he gets the two down, that probably will mean that Easy Team need to get these picks. Now, they're about to try and open up this mid section. Like, as you can see there, they have this defensive, this offensive line across the front and they're doing exactly what you said. Get the pick and then rotate to where the where the, uh, the small side is, I guess you can call it, where they have less defenders there. And you were right about that, and that's what they're going to have to do. Yeah, well, we can see they have not pushed mid yet. That's the key difference that uh, Safe Boys haven't done. We can see that a little bit is still drawn as a line back on their side of the map. Yep. And we can still see that Save Boys is still drawn as well. Yep. So the battle lines are drawn for both sides. They haven't pushed yet. And I think Easy, te easy uh, Team, they had a chance to push through, as I say, Sprinter. They are pushing on site now, but a little bit later than I would have expected to push on site because 
now they're low on health and they've just got to do something. Oh, oh. Nick oh. needed to reload. He was given a reprieve. He's going to go. Oh, he went for the defuse. He actually would have had enough time to get that fully done there. But uh, Nick will grab one. Karad, though, saves easy team. I would like to point out, like, you are correct there. It kind of was a bit, yeah. It kind of was a bit like the Western Front of World War One. They were literally standing off and trying to get that pick. And as soon as they got the A pick, that's when they went. They were like, okay, we're open now. Let's go. They got on. Now... That they were very lucky they got through that round there. They could have lost that had he continued with the defuse, but their rotate from the B side because they had that line kind of nearly nearly lost on that round. Yeah, as we can see, Vibes again getting that mid pick. That's exactly yeah. what they need to do. We saw Safe Boys do it to them. Now Easy Team needs to do it to uh, back to them as well. Yep. They're on Eco, so they should win this round here. It's now a 5v3. If they can maybe only lose one player Mac, as I say, that Vibes does go down, yep. they will have a lot of economic control going into the next few rounds. Yeah, and that's exactly what they need because if they can get the economic control, they could really close this five-round score difference to at least one or two rounds very easily. And given that we're entering the late stages of this game, that's very, very important. As Seer picks up a great shot on the reloader just behind Truck um, from on-site and is now four rounds of difference. Now, the boys from Save Boys are going to eco this one. They are just going to go pistols and nades. So, if they lose this one, which they most likely will, then you would expect them to buy. Now, they could double eco to give them a couple of rounds of stability in their economic control, but I, given the fact that we're getting to that late stage, that is a very important question they're going to have to be answering. Yeah, it, it's they've just got to uh, keep this form up. You can see the push through mid here. Now, as you can see, Hats is going to spot somebody and going to take him out with the nice little two-tap. And it's a quick little cleanup is looking Whoa. like. Masiers with the double, only losing one again. That is great control yep. through mid and then through B-side. They chose the site correctly. Yep. They played for picks. And that's what Safe Boys did to them. And we keep seeing it again. I'm going to keep saying it until uh, Safe Boys are able to counter it because they're just not doing anything at the you moment. You basically just need to walk up to Safe Boys, smack them in the head and say, they're picking you, stop getting picked. Yes. Right, so that's essentially, and that is what you said, is that uh, I think Easy Team pretty much noticed this off the, off the first round. They realized the retake game from Save Boys is probably one of their strengths. So rather than pushing in, let's open the site and then control the retake. That's exactly what they need to do. See, accidentally beaking Karath there. Um, as Urka will actually eat a little bit of a nade. Vibes, though, uh, was not uh, looking there. He was very lucky to be... He moved behind the box just at the right time. Did get binked a little bit, but uh, will not die. But he does die now because Steege and Reloaded both pick up one. It makes it now a four... A five for one. Wow, look at that. There is Karath, the last man remaining. And Save Boys basically kind of said, we've had enough of this. Um, this pick strategy, and I think they're starting to understand this, is that there hasn't been a push since round number 16, the first round of the half, essentially. They haven't pushed in, they just open the site and then go. Save boys look like they're adapting to this now, um, and they have now got a bit of economic control under their belt, um, and they're actually got double AWP. So that's very important. Now, this is a very expensive round for them. Yeah, if they lose this, they're back on eco, and it could be up to uh, 13 or even 14 to save, boys. So this is a big risk here. Easy yeah. Team need to win this one. They need to at least, if they lose, do a lot of economic damage. Otherwise, this is a costly round for them and probably could lose them the match. You don't normally see double AWP on off offense. It's normally a double... It's normally a long defensive kind of strategy. Drax, he grabs the first kill. That was on the hat. They still have yet to lose these orbs, but they have to be very careful about what they lose here as Nick will also pick up Karath because if they only have these orbs, they have no mid to short range control, and that's very bad for them. Sprinter finally picks up Stradoodle. Mr. Strax, he, the, the orb now finally being dropped down. Sprinter is going to be pushing up through Warehouse now, and Seer will get the kill as they're going to be working this A-bomb site. On they go, the boys. Uh, Nick will have to go. They should actually just name, should change their team name to The Boys. That'll probably make my life a lot easier, I tell you what. But that bomb now ticking away 35 seconds. And now this is where the double orb does come into play. They, this is obviously what they were hoping for to get to the site and use the angles for those orbs. But if they get picked, 
they, uh, they're they going to be finding themselves in a lot of hurt as Steege goes massive. He's looking for one more. The three down from Steege basically gives save boys round number 13. And that is going to hurt Easy Team here, Vector. They've got, uh, as you said, very little in the ways of money at the moment. Only one player with over four grand. I uh, know that's sorry. That's not true. There's two players more than four grand. So they are going to force buy most likely here. Yeah, it looks like a force up coming with uh, four AKs and a scout here. This is the key critical run. I said the last one was critical yeah. as well because it gave full economic control. This is a force up yeah. here because of the dire circumstances of 13 to 8 here. They need to make sure they can survive this round. They need to win this round, then yeah. they win the next one. Back on eco will be saved, boys, and then they have control from there. Yeah, that's very true. And you are you were a hundred percent correct, which is that double orb situation is expensive. It's basically put easy team on the back foot. They were so close, but unfortunately, superior rifle control from save boys put, uh, basically gave them the round, possibly the match here. But the boys from easy team are not going without a fight. They pick up the first two frags. Nick will get one, but that's a great nade onto site. Steed will be dropped down. Stradoodle from on site of A. He swapped up his position with that bomb uh, with the AWP. And uh, picks up that bomb is now fully on that A site. And the rotate is coming into 3v2. Has to be very careful here. Reloaded, puts the Molotov onto back of sight. He gets taken down by Karath. Good CZ70. There's one remaining. It is Straxy. He's got the AWP and two to beat. I've seen him do this before. He is very strong. Oh, he hasn't checked behind sandbags. Looks into checkers. Has to be very careful about this because he's about to give away his position. Spots up one. Doesn't know there's one on site. He assumes so. Spots up Sprinter, but Sprinter too high. He thought he was behind the boxes, not on top of them. And uh, look, easy team. Not out of it yet. Trying to get as many rounds as they can. And uh, well, we are now seeing the eco from Save Boys. So the situation totally reversed. Well, it looks like a bit of a force up as well. We've yeah. got one rifle and a Mag 7, yet the rest are pistols. I think they're a bit uh, half-hearted. A few bought too early there. So this could be costly for them because now yeah. they're broken throughout the team. Yeah. Half have bought and half haven't. So this could come back to haunt them in the next round or two since then they may have to double eco yep. if they lose this round, which it looks like that rifle's gone down first from Urka. Yep. This and is going to go really badly for them if they can't win with these pistols. Yep, turning from bad to worse as they keep trying to push the bomb. It has The bomb has not actually committed to a site yet. Nick trying to get that Mag 9 going and he gets two kills for his trouble. Still not dropped down and so he'll be very happy like that. That bomb is now coming towards the B bomb site. They have actually stopped a little bit. Can he get the third? Yes, Nick with the three, putting it to work. I tell you what, he's practically put Save Boys back into this round. Two versus two, Nick, Straxy versus Seer and Hats. Seer will get the better of Straxy though. And Nick with that Mag 9. Last man remaining, has to be very careful. Needs to get the opening shot. Still can't hit him. He missed three in a row and unfortunately can't get the four down. And uh, see it will give Easy Team 10 rounds to 13 as we move into the back stages, the final seven, six rounds of this game. What do we have here? It is full buy-ups from everyone. Yeah. Partial buy, I should say, from the CTs, but Vector... Easy team showing a bit of life here in the later stages of the match. Yeah, well, we can see two Famuses and three M4s coming out. So still a bit broken, actually. Yep. And they're back on an eco again if they lose this one. So it could be 13-12. It could be very close. As I said, this is where Easy Team needed to break in. Yep. This is the big part here. And this is the first time they're playing for picks again. And we can see that Save Boys are playing a bit more passive this time, waiting for a push. We can see the lines are divided again and in slightly different places, but they are again seen. And now all the smokes are going out. There's only a few left from both teams, so it's going to be key of which ones they use. Yeah, they do look like they're favouring this A-bomb site. They have actually had a bit more success at this A-site than they have B. Um, they do prefer the openness and the open lines from that side. But with um, with 50 seconds remaining, they're in no hurry to push in here. Stradoodle will grab the first kill of the round, and that's a good start. Save boys need to stop this momentum. Realistically, they if they win one more round, it forces Easy Team to get a clean win. They have to win the next six, um, and that's very hard to do in a row. They ha It has been done, and we've seen it done in this match. The momentum can shift just like that, but the question is whether or not they can stop it from happening. But the T's now committing to this A-bomb site. Out go the nades. There goes the smokes to stop the crossfire, but Nick and Reloaded, both too good. Sprinter finally gets the return frame, but that is bombed down as Nick finds Sprinter. And uh, here comes the rotate from Urka, and out through mid, up through highway, the connector area into the A-bomb site. 14 rounds to 10. Save boys are one round away from at least minimum 
getting a tie. Easy team, though. I have to admit, I've got to say, Christ, we did say it. Every round is important. Given the way they're playing against reigning champs at the moment, they are certainly within a shot at going into the semifinals. Oh, yes, definitely. They've played out of their skin right now, especially uh, better than I expected. And that last round, it was so close to them. This is key here. Oh! Oh, oh my God. Urka <laughs> and Steege, the three down into the B halls. Wow, that is just the spam through the smoke. It doesn't get any better than that, Vector. No, that, that was not expected at all. It's all down to hats. This is not what they needed going into the last round. Not going to have any money. Oh, no. And unfortunately for easy team. Wow, Urka has dropped 24. Look at that. Stradoodle and Nick, they've also dropped 20. That is just showing you how frag-heavy this game has been. The boys, even on the other side, everyone has dropped double digits. Vibes himself almost about to drop 20. For easy team. So, with one round possibly still to go, save boys are certainly in front here. The question is whether or not they will be able to close out this match cleanly. But, given the partial buy from easy team, you would think that this is their round. It's not 100% guaranteed, though. No, well, as we see, rifles are on the hands of save boys. And it looks like they're just going to go for the quick cleanup. They need to make an execute quickly. They do not have the firepower to go with a slow yep. execute here. It looks like they're going to try and go through squeaky with this scout. That is Karatu has it in hand, going to be taken down by the boost. And now, 1v4, it's going to be over and done with. That is Save Boys defeating Easy Team 16-10. to What a game. Oh, I tell you what, that the, um, the three down by Urka there, that was just... He suspected they were there, and he just put the crossfire on. I don't think he was expecting that. Maybe to put some binkage on, but wow, Save Boys coming... They started out slow. I think they were taken off guard by the the skill, or I should say the individual skill of Easy Team. I think that was something that they just didn't expect. But once they got their flow going, they we saw that we saw that shift. They were down five rounds to one. They ended the half ten rounds to five. They basically ran nine rounds in a row. Well done to Save Boys there. They are always very strong towards the end. They showed their uh, skill and they showed why they're one. The, they are the reigning champs here. Yeah. They. They didn't look strong at the start. As you said, caught them off guard there. And their strategies were working in the middle there. They were able to get the picks quickly, and they were able to open up either side. Yep. And we saw that Easy Team did the same to them. Yep. All the way true. through the start of the, f of the half there, they looked very strong. And I honestly thought that we see a little bit closer match than that. But still, very good match nevertheless. I was honestly, given the way that Karath was talking, I was honestly expecting a 16 rounds to nothing in favour of uh, the boys from Easy Team. But save boys... Look, we've got to give our MVP points as well. We didn't do that for the first round because we were sorting out our technical difficulties, but we're going to do it now. My personal three votes, I reckon, I'm going to do it AFL style for the MVP prize, right? So basically, there's the top three. Three votes, two votes, one vote. All right, the way that I've looked at it, I think Urko is going to get our three points. He was the top he was top fragger, easily probably one of the most dominant. I think we give two points to Straxy, given the fact that he was probably the guy who controlled mid with that AWP. And I've got to give one point to Vibes from Easy Team. I think he was just, he was the strongest on the other side. He dropped 20 himself. He just, unfortunately, well, he dropped 19, but he just couldn't carry them together. I think that's how we have to give the points out. You know, I'm going to agree with all three of those. They were my picks as well. Yep. So I, th I think we think alike of uh, who did well in that match. And it was just uh, very obvious of who showed to be the best. Yeah, that's very true. Right, so quick, obviously, guys, quick out to our sponsors. Thank you to Pacific ESS, uh, ES, Gigabyte, and, of course, Logitech providing the G402 uh, Hyperion Fury gaming mouses for the MVP prizes. We'll be announcing those very shortly, uh, especially for the Group A. Also, a big shout out to Legends Net Cafe. If you're down here, we're on George Street, right under the event cinemas. Come down, have a look. There's a lot of action still to go. And, of course, thank you very much to Defrag, Mav, and Cam for running basically the entirety of the show putting this one up it's this is why we're here and we love to do it right we've got round number two they will be coming up very shortly we're going to be getting those underway within less than 10 to 15 minutes don't go anywhere invite your friends we'll be back go grab a drink of water and uh, of course my name is neba this is uh vector this is that you will put our twitter feed somewhere so you can add us we'll be tweeting out and stuff don't go anywhere guys